And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. G'day, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out another K line pedal today. Mm. This is an Enchanted Tone Highly Prized Overdrive. Yes. Because it says so on the front. This is a cool purple pedal. Yes. And it's purple. With like ghosts on it. Yeah, it's cool. And a, and a graveyard. So, the deal is we're going to hit like and subscribe on the video. Give us a thumbs up. We are. Leave comments below. We are. Click on our Instagram. You will? As a group, yes. Will you? Yes. Yeah. You? And uh, check it all out. That'd be awesome. So this is a kind of Dumble-esque yes. kind of thing. Yes. Doing that thing. And I'm uh, going to check out some tones, but the setup today, if you care about that, is a Mozatronics amp switcher. Andrew? Into a Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20. Resting Stripe. And then into a Two Notes Torpedo Captor X doing the IRs for the cabinets. And there's a video on a Captor X there. And bonjour, Guillaume. And good day, Jason. It's a good start. So, very simple controls, volume on the left, filter on the right, and gain in the middle there. Yes. So the filters kind of changes the EQ sweep. Mm. Uh, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Let's start with your blue guitar. I'll start with my blue guitar. My parts master caster, blaster master, caster master, blaster caster, which is as we put it here. Doesn't get um, short Parts guitar uh, with some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups. That video tells you all about it and how I put it together and all that sort of stuff. And a make a guitar neck and clean uh, with some reverb supplied by the Captor X uh, and a G chord. It sounds like this. Sorry. Oh, it's, so it's very thick kind of... Sustaining his tone. Dumble esque, even. Yeah. Yeah. That's the characteristics of the Dumble tone. If, yes. If you're new to the that yes. word. Yeah. And we're even twice as fat as normal people. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going into a Dumble style head. So yeah. There's twice the fatness. <laughs> It is definitely fat. I, I like the filter wide open. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? Maybe a little bit to tame some super high end stuff. Yeah. Uh, should we try it now with uh, that some... kind of guitar? What, what kind of guitar is it that you're playing now, Alex? This bad boy. Yeah. This is a Sire L7. Mm, Larry Carlton series. Uh, hello, Sire people. Hello, Larry.
I think with that guitar, everything on full sounded great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And it's lots of sustain at that point. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. kind of have to really steer your notes. Should yeah. we try it with uh, 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 P90s with uh, Fano on this MG6? Mm. Which, uh, unenchanted, sounds like this. Let's see with that full, everything on full. Tones with some delay. It's really hitting the front of the amp too, so it's going to get more distortion from that preamp as well. So more is always more better. More is more. More better. Rah, 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 rah. Thoughts? Um, it's cool. It's like a, it. It makes things fat. Yes, like um, it's definitely. I think like a good kind of lead boost kind of sound. Do you want to quickly try it with oh, yeah. like one of your S type guitars? Because to me, that kind of stuff always works well with uh, S type guitars because they, they are very kind of small thin guitar sounding guitars <laughs> no I mean just, just being being honest and that's why I think a lot of players that play that style guitar mm. really famous players that play D style amps play S style guitars because they kind of work together yeah Thank you. 
and it's uh, mostly in tune. <laughs> yeah, mostly. Uh, give or take. Um, yeah, I think for me, that style pedal mm. works really well with that style guitar because it just makes it bigger. Singles, yeah. 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 What do you think? Do you dig it? <laughs> Comments below. Yes. Uh, yep, it's pretty cool. Um, does what it says on the box. It's super easy to use. And I mean, I think you can buy them, I don't know, 40 US or something like that. 50, so 50 Australian dollars, something like that. Super cheap. Uh, they, I mean, we say it in all the videos. We've done tons of videos with K-Line stuff. Um, the build quality is pretty good. Yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't feel any cheaper than any other pedal. Um, I mean, we haven't used them in in live settings for months and months and months and months and months at a time where maybe foot switches wear out and stuff like that but just from judging you know here yeah. they seem pretty good quality and for the price i mean if it breaks get another one <laughs> um yeah so big thank you to k-line uh for sending this out to us uh you can watch another k-line video here which is which one alex uh what's that one of the graphic oh there you go you can watch the Easy Driver video. Looks like that. Here. <laughs> Simple as that. Hey, thanks for hanging. There's links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Please check them out if you've got some time. Yes. And uh, thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Catch ya.